Hey champ, here's what my frog game looks like now. Alive, organic, full of beans. And here's what it looked like before. It's not bad, but we can make it look way better without any art skills. First, I darken the edges. This is called a vignette. I didn't know how to make one, so I looked it up. If you're making a game, I recommend using shaders. It's going to be a common theme in this video. This one's more subtle, but it's arguably the most important. I tinted the top of the screen yellowish, and the bottom of the screen bluish. So the grass isn't just one flat color. Next, I added sunlight. Now, this is nothing fancy, it's really just yellow bars across the screen. But I think it's amazing how much it changes the look and feel of the game. Even better, I made them move slowly over time to make the game feel less still. And their diagonal shape helps break up the rigid, square blockiness of the rest of the world. Next was the water. This is the goal of the game, to get all the frogs to the water, but it looks way too boring. So I looked up water for reference, and I really like this style. I had to do some drawing to make the texture, but if you give it a go, and use a reference, then you will surprise yourself. It looks better with the texture, but as with most things, it needs movement. This is where high school trigonometry finally applies. Don't forget to play around with your options, and ask people what looks better. Speaking of movement, why have a flat picture of grass or mushrooms in your game when you can make them dance? Just stretching objects like this back and forth adds so much life. If there's anything to take away from this video, it's that stillness is your enemy. Finally, little tiny particles. Again, it's a little bit of motion, but it adds a lot of life. But stay subtle. None of these things should distract the player. And that's how I made my game feel alive. This game is called Frog Corral. It's a cozy puzzle game about bringing frogs to water. I've never finished making a game before, but I'm pretty dang close to finishing this one. So, if you like cozy games, follow to see more, and tell your friends.